impactful change, and everyone agrees the change is meaningful and deep, their tones have changed. But in our caucus, our, respons our responsibility is clear to us. We need to put the needs of the country ahead of the interests of political parties. Because the security of the southern border is on the line, the security of Israel is on the line, the health and safety of innocent ga ga Gazas. Fiscally be responsible. But everybody, Pennsylvania still has about $2 billion in remaining stimulus money and at least $5 billion in surplus tax revenue. To address the soaring cause of living in inflation, Governor Wolf is pushing the legislature to approve using American Rescue Plan money to give people $2,000 stimulus checks. They would go to every household earning less than $80,000, which is the majority of people in Pennsylvania. Other issues are are getting Republican attention, everybody. Like more state funding for child care and pre-K, nursing home and housing. Progressive lawmakers have been building bipartisan support to for a broad housing plan, Whole Homes Repair Fund, which would actually use stimulus money to provide grants to homeowners and landlords alike to make renovations big and small. After two years and six relief bills into the crisis, the U.S. has spent the majority of its available stimulus relief funding, but billions of dollars across a handful of categories have not gone out the door. Beginning under the former president and continuing now with President Biden, Congress has approved some $4.5 trillion in total aid spending. According to Treasury Department data, federal agencies have formally committed to using about $4 trillion in that, and have made about $3.5 trillion in actual payments to date. Budget experts say that it can often take time for the total pot of funds to make its way to the American people. That's because government agencies such as the SBA and Department of Labor go through a process of legally committing to a portion of a lot of funding, which is known as obligating. Then they start to actually spend it. The $500 billion or so in available relief resources have not been obligated and may not end up being spent by agencies. What are your thoughts on this, everybody? Is President Biden going to do something about this and help out the American people with stimulus checks this year? Or will President Biden hold back the stimulus? Tell me what you think on this. Mr. Dodaro, I'm going to start with a round of questions, and then uh, it looks like the next person up will be Senator Johnson. Necessary. Many lawmakers and economists are looking at Joe Biden's sweeping stimulus package and its impact on the country. The American Rescue Plan Act, which cost a whopping $1.9 trillion, had a slew of provisions tucked into it and helped battle the fallout through crisis and pluck holes in the social safety net. One of them is the Lewis Act, and this legislation was meant to shore up the finances of multi-employer pension plans, which are responsible for providing benefits to the retirees. And before the American Rescue Plan was signed into law, many plans were in a financial crisis. Beforehand, the House Education on House Committee and Labor warned that failing plans will enable to help the people who need benefits the most and their owed to retirees, and that the funding for this program that helped so many Americans was running low. But now, according to the White House, insurance programs are estimated to become insolvent by 2026 and leaves around millions of people without the benefits that they had accrued through their, at their careers. And a White House fact sheet had stated that in the latest cash infusion from the rescue plan, $36 billion went to the central state's pension fund, safeguarding 350,000 Teamster workers and retirees, including truck drivers and warehouse workers, from cutting to their benefits. So it's not the only proactive measure that the Biden administration has taken up to shore up American finances when they retire. The president had released a plan to address climate costs, draining retirement funding, and also their savings account. But now the relief and the pension comes to Republicans potentially eye cuts to security. Social security that is, another major social safety net for the elderly and retirees. Social security is already trash, cash trapped. So many experts are worried about the future of the program. And also, this Thursday, Chuck Schumer was re-elected by his caucus to lead Democrats for a second term. It happened during a private meeting in the Capitol as the caucus chose to keep most of the pre existing leadership team intact in the wake of a better than expected help snap recipients offset rising food costs. But experts are warning about how the COLA may cut monthly SNAP benefits for our people. There were significant changes that made the SNAP benefits this year. In September, the governor already announced an expansion to the state SNAP program. And according to the Department of Human Services, the change meant an additional 420,000 Pennsylvanians are eligible for food stamps. Pennsylvania increased the income threshold for applicants to 200% of the federal poverty income guidelines. But due to the cost of living adjustment, some Louisiana households may see a decrease in SNAP and other benefits, according to the Louisiana Department of Children and Services. This has so far affected millions of people under the Family Independence Temporary Assistance Program. 
and SNAP program as well. State officials have said that these benefits will decrease in January. The cost of living is already increasing every single day. But now, once again, food inflation is outpacing overall inflation. What this means, though, is that SNAP recipients in the state of New York will once again receive more than 100 bucks in their monthly benefits. SNAP has been crucial for many people in New York and households that are currently at or near the maximum benefit level, which is about 1000 bucks for a household of four, will receive SSI payments of at least $100. Benefits will post between December 12th and December 39th, 31st I mean. An estimated $234 million in federal funding will be infused into New York's economy as a result of additional benefits. Since January, the program has contributed more than $2 billion into the state's economy, playing a critical role in the state's economic recovery in the wake of the crisis. According to a recent federal survey, SNAP generates up to $1.54 in economic activity for every dollar invested in the program. So, as food prices affected the number of factors, including extreme weather and supply chain complications, it makes it more difficult for the U.S. government to use tactics like raising the rates to moderate food prices. A number of party and refrigerator staples continued to get more expensive last month. The latest data even shows this. Eggs were staggering 49% more expensive through November, and butter prices also increased by 27%. Overall, grocery and menu prices in November and December continue to go up half a percentage point every single month. So we're only left with one option now. It's for President Biden to do something about this and sending out stimulus payments. Because there is exciting news, the lawmakers have already unveiled a new bill. The bill will fund new programs they aim to provide. Those who are eligible who have not received the checks yet should just wait by December 29th to receive the stimulus, if you haven't gotten one already. And it still needs to clear several steps before it becomes law. Last week, the mayor and said that he'd uh, revealed the details of the plan to send monthly checks from Missouri to low-income families. The plan calls for using $5 million in federal crisis aid to send $500 to families for 18 months. Now, around 3 million Massachusetts residents are set to receive tax rebates worth around 14% of what they paid in state income taxes. Folks, get ready for stimulus. It's here. I finally have some good news about the Ford stimulus check, and this time it is a truth. There is a ton of information that I want you guys to know about the Ford stimulus payment. A ton of news that you have to cover. The rebates will be sent directly to taxpayers' bank accounts to direct deposit. Otherwise, the rebate will be sent as a check in the mail for those who do not have direct deposits set up. The total received for the rebates is a set of fractions of one paid income tax, meaning higher earners will earn much more than that. A person who makes 35 grand will receive 200, while someone who makes a million would receive 7,000. There's plenty of time for people to file a tax turn, as the deadline for this rebate is extended through September of next year. Prices rose less than expected, and the latest sign is that the runaway inflation has been gripping the economy even worse. The Labor Department reported again that the Consumer Price Index, which measures a wide basket of goods and services, rose just 0.1% from the previous month and increased 7.1% from a year ago. Economists had already been expecting a 0.3% monthly increase and a 7.3% 12% monthly rate. So the increase from a year ago, while above the Federal Reserve's target for healthy inflation level, was tied for the lowest since November. It excludes volatile food and energy prices and so-called the 